What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Nate back in with another one. Hope y'all been taking care of y'all stuff. As you can see, man, the room is uh, a little messy, man, but we got the, we got the vacuum going. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of clean, bro. I had a lot of boxes come to the crib, so I just had to I just had to get situated. You know what I'm saying? As a unemployed man, I got I, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> nah, bro. I woke up this morning. I was like, man, let's get right, man. We just gotta. You know what I'm saying? I need a chop, bro. I need a chop. Uh, it's been, been a couple of days since I had a chop. But, I mean, shit, it is what it is. We finna get ready to go to the gym, run some errands. Have some shit I gotta get going. Got a trip coming up in a few days. So, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do our thing, man. We finna get active, bro. We finna get active. But... I can show y'all where to get some clippers. You can get clippers from Amazon. You can get clippers from Walmart, bro. When I get a chance, I'm going to go to Walmart and see what I can find for y'all. But it ain't got to be the most expensive clippers. I, I used to cut I used to cut hair in college. So these, this is advanced. This is a T eyeliner, Andy's T eyeliner. And I've been, I took off the top piece. So it looks a little bit different if you have this. But I used to cut hair in college, so... And I was really debating on going to barber school, man. Like, I was really thinking about going to barber school. But I didn't think that was going to be my calling, you know, since I got a degree. So it's just really just crazy, man. Like, the decisions we make really crazy. We can really do, you're in your 20s, bro. You can do anything you want to. You can choose any path you want. And that's the beauty of life, you know what I'm saying? But you got to pick one thing and stick with it. That's all I got to tell you. You know what I'm saying? You got to stick to something and go with it. Whatever you good at, go with it. If you see something you can do, go with it. Do it. Don't overthink yourself, man. Don't overthink yourself. But now, nah, um, I got my, of course, I got my beard care. I got this from Evan Alexander. Evan Alexander, he, he can use some natural supplements that I've been trying out. I've been seeing a little difference in my beard. I low-key, I low-key been wanting to cut my, cut everything off and just regrow. You know what I'm saying? Since I've been having this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Just get you some beer bomb. Try to look up for natural stuff for a beer bomb. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't use beer bomb as much. I use, I really just need that conditioner. And that lasts me all day. But this, this is cool too. Get you some beer bomb. And at night, I know when I put some oils. You know, because when you're sleeping, that's the best time when your hair grows. When you're, at, when you're asleep, but I'm not putting no oils this time. Oh. My beard is long. My shit's getting crazy. My shit's getting crazy. Gotta rub this shit in. <laughs> My shit getting crazy. My beard getting crazy, bro. But that's all it takes, man, for me to get ready. You know what I'm saying? All I use when I brush my teeth, I just start using this anti-plaque whitening fluoride-free toothpaste. I've been I've done my research, fluoride-free. That's the best type of things that you need for your teeth. Do your do your own. Make sure you do your own research because I know I do. I just um, a lot of the stuff that we use have fluoride in it, and fluoride is not really good for you. So I use fluoride free toothpaste. I just got this Guru Nada for oil pulling, coconut and mint natural natural for like just mouthwash type thing. Nah, this is my other one. I used to have this mouthwash that I used to use. Same thing for the toothpaste. Oh yeah, toothpaste. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I use for my beard. As far as my hair goes, I don't really wash my hair every day. So, my hair, you see my my curls, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. But for my curls, I just use some uh, shea butter, curling cream, moisturize. It just shapes and hydrates my curls. I mean, really anything works. I'm not an expert on that, bro. I just use what I use. Like I said, your boy... I don't really care, you know what I'm saying? I don't really don't care, you know what I'm saying? It don't take me that long to get ready. And then of course my pick, just to pick out the sides, you know what I'm saying? Any uneven areas. And then um, get you, if you fellas, you got beard, get your wooden comb, bro. Get you a wooden comb, man. I preach this all the time on my channel. You get you a comb, it's just better on your hair, it's better on your skin. And that's all it is to it. Considering I don't have a fade, I look good. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Some slight. We finna just gonna run some errands. Nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. 
But don't you hate when you say you're going to get some gas and then you end up not getting gas, bro? <laughs> you say, yeah, I got to get gas today. Uh, I'll wait till tomorrow. Now you got to go somewhere. You got you to gotta go get some gas. Waste of time, bro. Don't waste some time. Nah, but you too is good with y'all boys. It's your boy Nate back again with another one. Hope y'all been taking care of yourselves. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? All right. Your boy's finna go get a chop. Got a little trip. Oh. Got a trip. Hold on. Got a little trip tomorrow. <sighs> a nice little trip with my mentors, surrounded by successful people. This is a great trip to just reconnect with myself. It's gonna be a lot of nature. I never been before, but I done my research on where we going. So it's a nice little camp, just for like a day or two. Coming back that next day, so gonna just get a chop, look, you know, what I'm saying, look presentable, you know. So I, I normally just cut my own hair, but you know, in this case, I mean, shh, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying. So I'm debating on what, if I want to cut my hair off or. Do I just want to keep it? I mean, it's like a, it's a, it's had a mini fro, you know what I'm saying? Does the spring come in? It's probably the best time to cut it off, but, ooh, that's a, that's a, that's a big transformation, man. Big transformation. Let's get gas, bro. I'm gonna get some gas, dog. Hey, at least the gas prices went down a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna get a haircut. I'm finna, um, I'm finna bring y'all with me. And uh, it's finna, get, finna be good vibes. Nice little vlog today. Don't know what I'm typically feeling right now, but I'm finna just have a nice little chill day today. Honestly, I need a pack. So, yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all. <laughs> Slight man, something slight, bro. You know what I'm saying? The fader, my barber did his thing, bro. The fader did his thing, man. In the clutch, shout out to him, bro. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nice to have homeboys that cut hair, bro, because you got that relationship already built, that loyalty. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I support my boys, no matter what they doing. I'm a support. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about me. I'm a support. You can never say that about myself. I always support my boys. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But we got some donuts. You feel me? Now I know. I know y'all probably be like, bro. Now you eating a whole bunch of bull. Hey, dog. 
I ain't had donuts in in, in weeks. And and you know my motto. When you don't eat stuff all the time, it just hits different. So I ain't had no donuts in a minute. And it's only specific type of donuts I get. I only get from this one shop by my home. By my hometown, bro. The only shop. A lot of these shops be they they for one they, the quality ain't good. If I'm gonna eat donuts, the quality gotta be amazing. And this and this spot never fails. Fuck them Shipley donuts. Fuck them Shipley donuts. Fuck them. What's the other place called that sell donuts? Bas- Dunkin' Donuts. Fuck Dunkin' Donuts. If it ain't them Chinese, European ladies making your donuts, bro. You, I don't know what you're doing, bro. I don't know what you're doing. Like, why? Like, I don't know what you're doing, bro. I don't know what you're doing. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. How you doing, sir? That 20? 20? Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm good, man. Appreciate you. Uh, yep. Yeah, they all these. They always trying to sell me something else, bro. Like, nah, bro. I'm cool, bro. I trust. I'm cool. Wait, am I, do I have to go by myself? I had to get a car wash for my nice little trip coming up. You feel me? I wonder if I go. Now, why did I do this shit? Why is no one here? Why am I? Why is no one here, bro? All right, cool. Hey. All right, but yeah, I had to get a car wash. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice little good sunny day. Feel good. I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. I got all this. I got two donuts, a dozen donut holes, three kolaches for six, seven dollars. That is slight, bro. I paid ten dollars, eleven dollars for just that exact amount, bro. For some donuts, dog. In different cities, bro. And I've been to a lot of cities in it. Damn! Hey, hey, they put in some work. <laughs> they put in some work in my car. But I ain't, I ain't, ain't no beating these donuts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, look at this, bro. You think I'm lying to you, bro? Like, come on. But we definitely gotta go to the gym and go crazy. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Today is my kind of my cheat day, so. Your boy's been having a little bit too much free time, man. Like, just imagine, right? It's been, it's been a couple days since I've been laid off work, right? And I've been doing a lot of things just for myself on my own time no one to really tell me like what to do oh i gotta clock in at this job even though i don't mind working bro like i don't mind working but i don't gotta clock in no job i'm doing i'm doing errands getting cuts chilling to myself imagine this shit being a lifestyle thing bro and it's possible bro it's been done this shit's been 
bro, you, it's done. People, there's some people out here that's living their best life right now. Not saying I'm not living my best life regardless, but I'm saying like there's people actually really. Right here? Oh. Bet. You know what I'm saying? There's people out here really living their best life to this day. You feel me? So. It's just my bum just doing these little things that I'm doing right now. For myself, on my own time, I got to make this shit a reality, bro. I got I got to make this shit, like, real, real spill, real thing, man, real crowd. Because you only got one life, bro. And I got to break that generation curse. I gotta be, I gotta break that generational curse, bro. I gotta be the one that's gonna succeed. I gotta be the one that's gonna be a millionaire. I gotta be the one that's helping millions of people in this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm not average. I can't be average, bro. The shit I be doing, I'm not average. I've been doing my own thing whenever I want. I do a lot of dumb shit, bro. I'm not perfect, but it's just crazy, bro. It's, 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 it's done. Success is for real. If there's other people out here successful, I can be successful, bro. I'm going to be successful that way, whatever I just choose to do. And that's why I was thinking about going to barber school, just to start being my own boss and start really trying to, uh, really try. It's, bro, it's different avenues I could have went through because, like, all oh, these niggas be tipping. I don't tip. I don't got no cash, bro. I ain't got no cash. Uh, I do not be tipping. Be sure, bro. Damn. But this whole time, I'm supposed to be tipping. I don't got no cash. Fuck it, bro. Damn. I'm going to start carrying cash because I do not be tipping. No cap. I do not be tipping. <laughs> bro, I ain't I ain't really know that you're supposed to be tipping like that. I paid for the I pay for the 20 plus. You want me to tip? Like You know what I'm saying? Like I'm sorry. I know they out here working, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't tip. I ain't got cash, bro. If I had cash, cause I only I saw someone tip, bro. Appreciate it, bro. It's not mandatory to tip, bro. It's never mandatory to tip, but I feel like I could have gave him like $5. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to tip. We ain't balling like that yet. I ain't had no cash, bro. If I had cash on deck, I would give him something, but it's all good, bro. Sometimes you gotta be like, shit, it is what it is. You ain't gonna get tipped by everybody, you know what I'm saying? You can't be expecting tips. You feel me? But but yeah, that's why I was really like trying to figure out what's the, since I'm unemployed, you know what I'm saying? Just you see how easily I could just lose my job, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like I said I don't mind working, you know what I'm saying? I can find different ways to make income. But it's it's endless options. Like what I got going on with this YouTube content creation which this is for life regardless so this is a long-term investment that i made for myself that i'll be doing youtube for the rest of my life so regardless that's just going to be extra it's an extra asset on the side but right now in the moment right now i was really thinking about going to barber school comment down below should i go to barber school because I tell you all the time, I've been cutting my own hair. I cut hair in college. I graduated. I wanted to see what I want to do. I wanted to see what could I do with my degree, which I'm still trying to do. I'm, I'm still, it's been a year since I graduated. So I'm still trying to figure out my career path, true my, my, you know what I'm saying, trying to find that career path. I was thinking about being a teacher, 
I'm working on my teacher certification. That was in the back of my head. But that's more, that's more tuition. That's more tuition I have to pay for. Probably like four bands, right? I could have been, been a teacher, right? And then in my head, I'm really an entrepreneur, bro. I'm really, you know, but I'm trying so hard to use my degree. You know what I'm saying? I went to school because school was an opportunity for me to just really try to just go out and just be on my own and learn, like, develop myself. Because, like, from where I came from, how I first came, like, straight out of high school, my mentality was fucking childish. Like, childish. I was a childish ass kid. Still am, but it wasn't until, like, going to college allowed me to develop myself, be, become a better man, be on my own, take care of myself, cook for myself, pay my own bills. Getting out, I highly suggest you try to get out on your own for, like, a couple years. If you have to, move back with your parents. If you got good parents to live with, depending on your situation, depending on your environment. But I went to college. They, I, I, I wasn't planning on going to college because I, I was an okay student. But I knew, like, I, school was like, come on, bro. Like, it was just too much going on. If I wasn't trying to play sports, too, like, I got hurt. I was supposed to, I was trying to play sports in college, had scholarships, you know. So I never got a chance to play sports in college. I was like, man, it is what it is. I'm going to have to find sports ain't everything, you know what I'm saying? So I, I had to figure out another way to make, you know what I'm saying, do my, like, what could I do, you know what I'm saying? So I just went to school because I, my parents helped me out. Thank God for my parents. God bless them. my parents. If it wasn't for my parents, I would not have went to school. I'd probably just been working, which been cool. Like, I don't mind working. I would have been having way more bread than I have now if I was just working these past four or five years. If just working for four or five years, I would have been straight just living at my parents. Thinking about it now, you know what I'm saying? But now, since I'm trying to make something, I'm like trying to make a career path now, which I'm still young, I'm 23, there's still, it's still room for me to grow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I give myself to like 26. 26 is when you really, as a man, you need to be making some money. So I got three years to do something, right? So that's why I'm like, okay, I went to school. It was cool, like, great experience. Loved every moment, never regretted anything. But now like, I'm seeing, like, shit, bro. The job market is terrible. I've been applying for years. I've been applying for months while I still had a job. I was working at Amazon. I've been applying, ain't had a job. I had an interview this week, last week. And that was cool. That was straight, you know what I'm saying? That went smooth. It's a summertime interview. I'm gonna be teaching with kids. I do like kids. I like. I want to be able to teach and coach in some which way because fitness and health and training people is something I want to do, right? Then I'm seeing shit on social media, online stuff, bro, online personal training or just like just online selling anything, but I really ain't trying to sell nothing, but just online. Everything, everything's online, bro. That's what I'm trying to get at. Everything's really just online. Being an entrepreneur is that what's gonna make me become successful, right? And I thought about barber school too because I mean mostly all my friends went to barber and been their own boss, which is cool, but it's limited though. You can only do so much with barber. It's not I wanna be successful, I wanna work on my own time, I wanna be at home doing my own thing. Like you feel me? Go to the, go do what I wanna do at any point in my time. Yes, being in business Yes, being a barber will help me understand entrepreneurship. It will help me learn about business side, which will be a great experience for myself. Which I already, I already started my own business with my own products. I have my own products. But now I'm missing a skill. I need a skill set. In this world, you need a skill set. And what would make me stand out from the other people, my other comp competition? So that's why I was thought about barber school, just because... Like I said, you're only limited because you have to be at work. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's basically a job. You gotta be cutting all the time. You know what I'm saying? Especially if that's your main income. So that the whole point of it is trying to make other income without you even have to put. I'm putting two hours in at, with, throughout the day. I'm putting two hours throughout the day and getting paid on the side. I ain't even gotta do nothing. Being a barber, you gotta be there for hours and hours standing and. It's the same thing as a job, you know what I'm saying? So, but it would be a great opportunity to learn about the business side and entrepreneurship, my taxes, my LLC, and just learning 
all those good things. So, it's a lot of decisions I, I know I gotta make. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, YouTube is a great, it's my asset in the long run. This channel is gonna blow up one day. Mark my words, this channel is gonna blow up one day. And, um, but I can't really rely on that. You know what I'm saying? I just, all I can do is just keep documenting and just keep posting out content and tips to y'all. So I can eventually, I can come out with a course if, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, like, whoever wants to fuck, like, who wants to learn from me, or whoever wants to gain knowledge, who needs help, I can make a course, and that can get me money. But, it's, like I said, it's not all about the money for me. I really just want to impact and help people, so the money would just come. Like, it will just come, just because. As long as I feel like I'm helping people and I have purpose, that's all I really, that's all I care about. And barbering, that's a great time. It's a great for connection. It's just, I see so many pros in barbering because connection you know what i'm saying it's one-on-one -on -one with the client i can help him with anything too like mental not even just i'm cutting his hair just good talks and just great energy you know what i'm saying it's just a barbershop just got that if you grew up in a barbershop you know that environment you just men just come together and we just talk and just but you can build some shit with that so that is an option for me but i mean it's, it's so many different ways to just you know I can become financial free just off of selling e-commerce, you know, digital products and shit like that, which is a, yeah, it's just so many options that make some money, bro, it's insane, a lot of it's just knowledge, and a lot of it's just time, you know what I'm saying, and resources, you know what I'm saying, I got stuff I gotta pay for, I can't really spend too much on other shit, I'm like, man, it's, yo, it's just crazy, man, this game of life is crazy, but we gonna figure, we gonna figure it out, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure it out. Just got to keep doing our thing. We're we on the right path. We're doing our thing. But it, it is nice to just take, like, I haven't worked in a couple of days. So I'm just, I'm going to feel good. Like, I'm, I could be worried about money, but, like, I can't let money just dictate me, like, how I feel, what I can do. I'm going to enjoy my life regardless. Like, it's my last fucking day on this earth. Like, tomorrow could be my last day. Today could be my last day. You know what I'm saying? So... That's just how you got a little life, bro. Shit, we finna go to the crib. And, um, of course, I'm gonna go plot for more jobs, do some work. And, um, yeah, I'm probably type in with y'all, go to the gym. But if not, appreciate y'all watching this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Nate. We out.